A composting toilet is just like any other toilet. It looks like, is used like and smells just like a flush toilet. The only difference is that it doesn't use any water. The composting toilet can be built into the house, just like any room, or it can be built away from the house. The compost toilets being constructed through the Global Environment Facility Pacific IWRM project are a two-chamber model and were designed locally in Tuvalu, taking into consideration the local environment with maximum ease of use in mind. This is how the toilet works. There are two chambers that are completely sealed from the environment. Above each chamber is a hole over which the toilet seat or pedestal is placed. The hole not being used is sealed. A pipe leads from the pedestal to the chamber below. You might be wondering if you can use regular toilet paper. You use the compost toilet just like any other toilet. However, once you've finished, throw a handful of dry and fresh leaves or other organic material into the toilet. This provides the fuel for decomposition and prevents any smells from escaping. The waste falls into a grate inside the chamber and begins building up. What little liquid waste there is will collect in a pipe and flow through into a soak away pit on the outside of the toilet to keep the conditions in the chamber dry. The soak away pit is made up of aggregate material designed to filter and dissipate the nutrients found in urine before they can reach the groundwater. Planting banana or pawpaw trees and ornamental plants around the soak away pit will assist with the uptake of nutrients from the soil as they utilise the nutrients for their growth. These toilets work best when they're kept dry. They're easy to clean using just soap and water and an ordinary toilet brush. It will take a family of six around eight to 12 months to fill up the first chamber. When the first chamber is full, the pedestal is moved to the hole and pipe above the second empty chamber and the hole above the first chamber is sealed. As the second chamber fills up, the first chamber starts composting. Composting is the biochemical decomposition of organic material by bacteria and aerobic microorganisms. This process produces a lot of heat. Bacteria, worms and other microbes are the pathogens found in human waste that can make us sick. In the intense heat generated during the composting process, these pathogens will be destroyed, leaving compost that is safe to handle and use. The World Health Organization standards for human waste composting recommend a minimum of 12 months before the compost is safe for handling and use on gardens. This allows enough time for the waste to become composted while the second chamber is still in use. The compost is now ready to be used on gardens, food crops or trees. Safe application requires that you dig the compost into the soil, not just spread it on top of the ground. It's an excellent fertiliser and soil conditioner, particularly in some atolls where soil condition is poor, providing nutrients for plant growth and organic matter for water retention in the soil. The World Health Organisation recommends waiting one month after applying compost to the soil before harvesting any food crops. After the first chamber is empty and the second is full, the pedestal is changed over again and the process starts all over. Composting toilets are healthier and better for the environment than current flush toilets that use septic systems. Many septic systems are poorly constructed and waste stored in them can overflow or seep into the groundwater. This waste contaminates the groundwater, surrounding soils and can eventually reach the coastal water. Contaminated groundwater spreads diseases like diarrhoea and other waterborne diseases. Once this contamination reaches the coastal waters, Pathogens spread diseases in the lagoon and can lead to fewer fish and outbreaks of fish poisoning. 
excess nutrients in the lagoon can lead to algal blooms and can kill off coral reefs, which may also reduce fish numbers. Flush toilets use a lot of water, which in many Pacific Islands is a scarce resource. Every time you flush a toilet, you flush away 10 litres of water. If one person uses the toilet four times a day, that's 40 litres of water. Over a year, a person would use almost 15,000 litres of water just flushing the toilet. That's the equivalent to one and a half rainwater tanks per person per year. Multiply that by everyone living in the house and that's a lot of water. Using composting toilets as a sanitation option in Pacific Island countries has many benefits. These include protecting the environment from septic pollution, reducing ground and coastal water contamination, meaning healthy environments and healthy people. Huge amounts of water can be saved, meaning more water for use in times of drought. The fertiliser from compost toilets can be used to grow food, providing healthy vegetables and fruit and promoting food security. Composting toilets are a simple, safe and modern solution to our water and sanitation issues.